I started taking these trips to England back in the early 1980s when I first came to Darlington. We had such a great time, we did it again the next year, and that started the tradition, and I've been doing it generally every other year. We've taken friends, family friends, relatives, cousins. It's always been open to any Darlington-connected person who wanted to go, so it's a great mix of adults and kids. One of the things I think that Darlington offers students, in addition to sort of a, a world view from being here with kids from 20 or 30 different countries, is the ability to travel. The school's always been very good about sponsoring trips abroad offered by faculty members. We've, we've had trips to France, to Spain, to Costa Rica. Uh, I think it just gives kids a great sense of another culture, uh, it makes them more sophisticated and adult-like in, in being able to travel to a different country, to explore, to, in, in a way to find their way around a completely new place. Uh, I think it's just, it's probably the most valuable part of an education. Uh, we try to give them a cathedral, an art museum, a castle, a palace, a play. We don't try to wear them out on any one kind of experience. But this year, for example, we, we began the first day at Windsor Castle uh, and then proceeded to Stonehenge uh, and then to the city of Bath to visit the Roman Bath. So what we try to do is give them a good mix of, of history, culture, and just plain fun. Overall, the reaction of the kids is always just kind of overwhelmingly positive. It's really fun to watch particularly the younger students develop a sense of independence as they go through the trip. It's almost as if you can see them grow from the experience. And I've had a number of parents tell me through the years that this was just a, a huge experience in terms of watching their kids develop self-confidence to, to be a little bit on their own and to explore. I'm Sam Moss, Darlington Class of 1963, Dean of College Guidance. And this is Darlington story number 67.